Are young people today lonelier than ever before? You might be surprised, but the answer is a resounding yes. The loneliness epidemic among young people is a hidden struggle that's been silently sweeping across the globe. It's a complex issue, fueled by various factors, and it's high time we shed some light on it. We live in the digital age, where technology has revolutionized how we communicate. Yet, it's ironic that in an era where we're more connected than ever, loneliness runs rampant among our youth. Why is that? The paradox lies in the fact that while digital platforms enable us to reach out to others, they also create a sense of isolation. Young people often find themselves submerged in a virtual world, where genuine human connection is replaced by likes, comments and emojis. Another contributing factor is societal pressure. The constant need to fit in, to be accepted, to be perfect, can be overwhelming. This pressure creates a significant emotional strain, and when young people can't meet these unrealistic expectations, they often retreat into themselves, leading to feelings of isolation and loneliness. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, the global pandemic. The pandemic, with its lockdowns and social distancing norms, has only exacerbated the situation. For many young people, the pandemic has meant prolonged isolation, devoid of the usual social interactions that are a vital part of their mental well-being. Now, it's important to note that feeling lonely isn't the same as being alone. Loneliness is a subjective feeling of isolation, a sense of disconnection from the world around you. It's not about the quantity of social interaction, but rather the quality. And that's where young people today are struggling. This loneliness epidemic is more than just a feeling. It's a silent epidemic that's affecting millions of young people worldwide. But what does loneliness really look like in young people? To understand that, we need to delve deeper into its signs and symptoms, which we'll explore in the next segment. Loneliness is not just a feeling, it manifests in different ways. To fully grasp the impact of loneliness, we need to identify its symptoms, especially within the young population. It's not always about being physically alone, Loneliness can creep in even when you're surrounded by others. It's a feeling of disconnect, of not being understood or valued. One of the most evident signs of loneliness is increased isolation and withdrawal. Young people who feel lonely might start to pull away from social interactions, preferring their own company over others. They might decline invitations, stop participating in group activities or spend excessive time alone. Next, changes in eating and sleeping patterns can also hint at loneliness. You might notice that they're eating more or less than usual, or their sleep schedule has become erratic. This could mean they're staying up late into the night, struggling to find sleep, or on the contrary, sleeping more than usual as an escape. A decrease in academic performance or work productivity can also be a symptom. If a young person who was once passionate about school or work suddenly loses interest, or starts to perform poorly, it might be an indication of underlying loneliness. They might struggle to concentrate, miss deadlines, or show a general lack of enthusiasm towards their responsibilities. Another symptom is feelings of worthlessness or hopelessness. Loneliness can make a person feel unimportant, unloved and unworthy. They might express feelings of despair, believing that their situation will never improve or that they're destined to be lonely forever. Finally, a lack of motivation and energy is a common sign of loneliness. Regular tasks might seem daunting, hobbies that once brought joy might seem meaningless, and there might be a pervasive feeling of lethargy or indifference. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step towards understanding and addressing the issue of loneliness. It's about reaching out, showing empathy, and reminding the person that they are not alone in their struggle. Remember, loneliness isn't a permanent state, it's a journey with ups and downs, and with understanding and support it can be overcome. Loneliness is not just an emotional state, it can have serious physical and mental health repercussions. This isn't something to be taken lightly, especially when it comes to the younger generation. When we talk about the impact of loneliness on mental health, we often think about depression and anxiety, and you're not wrong to think this way. The prolonged feeling of loneliness can indeed lead to these mental health issues. Feeling isolated, left out, or disconnected from the world can trigger feelings of sadness and worry. And over time, these feelings can develop into full-blown depression and anxiety disorders. But the mental health impact doesn't stop there. Loneliness can also lead to cognitive decline, 
It's like a fog that descends on the mind, making it difficult to think clearly, remember things, or even make decisions. It's as if the brain is on overload, trying to compensate for the lack of social connection. Now, let's move on to the physical health impacts, which are surprisingly just as significant. Research has shown that loneliness can lead to an increased risk of cardiovascular problems. Yes, you heard it right. The heart, the very organ that symbolizes love and connection, can suffer when we're feeling lonely. Chronic loneliness can increase blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and even the risk of heart disease. It's a silent but deadly consequence of feeling alone. Moreover, loneliness can impact our sleep. When you're feeling alone, it's hard to get a good night's rest. Your thoughts may keep you awake, or you might have trouble falling asleep in the first place. And we all know how important sleep is for overall health and well-being. And then there's the immune system. Loneliness can weaken our body's ability to fight off illnesses. It's as if the body is so focused on the emotional pain that it forgets to protect itself from physical ailments. The effects of loneliness are far-reaching, but there are ways to combat this issue. It might seem overwhelming, but remember, acknowledging the problem is the first step towards finding a solution, and we'll explore those solutions in the next part of our discussion. We can't eliminate loneliness, but we can learn to manage it better. And that's exactly what we're here to do, to equip you with the tools and strategies to manage and reduce feelings of loneliness. Let's begin with seeking professional help. There's a common misconception that therapy is only for those who are dealing with severe mental health issues, but that's far from the truth. Therapy is a tool that can help us navigate through various life challenges, including loneliness. It provides a safe and non-judgmental space for us to express our feelings, understand our patterns and learn coping mechanisms. Next on the list is joining clubs or groups. Now you might be thinking, but I'm not a people person, and that's perfectly okay. Clubs and groups don't necessarily mean large crowds or loud gatherings. It could be a book club, a gardening group, or an online forum for movie enthusiasts. The essence is to find a shared interest and connect with like-minded individuals. Engaging in physical activities is another effective strategy. Physical activity releases endorphins, the body's natural mood elevators. It could be a brisk walk in the park, a dance class, or even a yoga session at home. The idea is to get moving and distract your mind from the feelings of loneliness. Lastly, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is key. This means eating nutritious meals, getting enough sleep, and taking time for self-care. Remember, our physical health directly impacts our mental health. When we take care of our bodies, we're also taking care of our minds. So, there you have it. Four strategies to manage and reduce feelings of loneliness. Seeking professional help, joining clubs or groups, engaging in physical activities, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. This journey may not be easy, but it's definitely worth it. Remember, reaching out for help is not a sign of weakness but rather a step towards resilience. And with each step, you're not just overcoming loneliness, but also growing stronger and wiser. So keep going, you're doing great. Loneliness can be a heavy burden, but it doesn't have to define anyone's life. We've traversed the complex landscape of loneliness, touching on its hidden nature, its symptoms, its impact and ways to overcome it. It's a journey that reminds us of the importance of empathy, understanding and connection in our everyday lives. Remember, the struggle with loneliness often remains hidden, cloaked in silence. It's a silent battle fought in the minds of many young people today. The symptoms are not always obvious. They can be as subtle as a change in behavior, a shift in mood, or an unexplained withdrawal from social circles. It's crucial that we stay observant, that we foster an environment that encourages open conversations about mental health. The impact of loneliness can be profound, affecting both mental and physical health. It can lead to depression, anxiety, and a host of other health complications. But it's not an insurmountable challenge. It's a hurdle that can be leapt over, a mountain that can be climbed. The first step towards overcoming loneliness is acknowledging its presence. Overcoming loneliness requires effort, patience, and a lot of self-love. It's about reaching out, creating connections, seeking professional help when needed, and practicing self-care. It's about reminding ourselves that it's okay to feel lonely and it's okay to ask for help. So let's start the conversation. Let's talk about loneliness. Let's acknowledge its presence. 
and let's work together to overcome it. Let's ensure that our young people don't just grow, but they thrive. They feel seen, heard and loved. In a world where we're more connected than ever, no one should feel alone. It's time to start the conversation about loneliness and work towards a future where everyone feels seen, heard and understood.